It's a holiday movie bonanza with a massive celebrity stuffed film about the last day of the year. We love the movies here on the show. I'm your host, Brett Martin. Thanks for watching. Several storylines intertwine on the last day of the year in New Year's Eve. Last year, I met a woman and she was extraordinary. You're gonna meet her, aren't you? And a resolution can become a revelation. That looks like a long list. You better get on it. If you can make these resolutions come true by midnight, you get these. Four tickets to that party. You called the right guy. There are no less than a dozen different storylines in this film. And they're somehow spliced together and made into what somebody has called a movie. The small stories include things like uh, first kisses, midnight rendezvous, newborn babies, dying fathers, trapped strangers, and husbands at war. And the end result is a big old bloated cast of celebrities with very little to say except happy holidays. Feet on the ground. Talk to me. Talk to me. What? Because it's New Year's Eve, you want another shot at it? Fooling around. I like fooling around too. <laughs> Here we go. So who's in the film? Let's roll the credits. Halle Berry, Jessica Biel, John Bon Jovi, Abigail Breslin, Chris Ludacris Bridges, Robert De Niro, Josh Dumel, Zach Efron, Hector Elizondo, Katherine Heigl, Ashton Kutcher, Seth Myers, Leah Michelle, Sarah Jessica Parker, Michelle Pfeiffer, Joe Swiger, Hilary Swank, Sophia Vergara. Also starring Ryan Seacrest, Matthew Broderick, Carla Gugino. John Lithgow, Sarah Paulson, Common, Alyssa Milano, Russell Peters, Jim Belushi, and Yardley Smith. And on and on and on. It's about getting another chance Woo! to do more, to give more, to love more. Because that's what New Year's is all about. That and a good party. The film is two hours long and it feels like it. Gary Marshall directs this movie in a setting that's solely in Times Square. There are plenty of good actors here, but unfortunately no one gets to really break out and get into their character, leaving you a bit unfulfilled. Sure, it's about love and new beginnings, but there's not much to love about this film. Too many stars, not enough dialogue, makes for a weak romantic comedy. And I'm not laughing at all. So the flicometer gives New Year's Eve a one out of five. There's plenty of star power to bring folks to the box office, but trust me, it's two hours you'll never get back. Let me hear what you have to say. Head on over to Facebook and look for me on the Brett side. Click like, you might even win a prize. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching this FlickedUp.com review.